I think we're live, Roland. Hello, everyone. This is Claricia Myers coming to you live from Reese's Domain. Of course, we're not at home. We are out at our favorite Lake spot, Mead Park. Lake Mead. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if they can hear us. Okay. If you can hear us, thumbs up. Uh, let us know that you are out there. Well, we are really excited because we um, come to you every day, Monday through Friday, just to share a tip or two of what we have been learning um, as we reflect on uh, wealth. We've been reading a book called Rich Dad. Hi, Sabira. I'm so glad you joined us. We're out at Lake Mead. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the thumbs the up. Thumbs up. Uh, this is one of our favorite places to go. Um, Hopefully the mosquitoes won't <laughs> chase us away today. But anyway, um, we have come to the end of the book that we've been reading called Rich, Rich Dad, Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Rob Kiyosaki. Kiyosaki. And as he ended the book, he had some final thoughts that he wanted to bring to us. And I started sharing some of those thoughts yesterday. And what he said is, you know, what's in our heads determines what's in our hands. So what we put into our head determines what our future can look like. But we have to fill our heads with the right things. Mm -hmm. He says that to learn how to make money work for us, you know, it takes financial literacy. <clears throat> you know, and once we know how to make money work for us, our lives will be richer, it will be easier, and we'll be happier. And so. Mm -hmm. Roland and I, we are on that journey towards more happiness. Yes. Um, Robert says that there are three different types of income. You want to tell them what, the, what they are? See if I can remember. Well, we have passive income, mm -hmm. and then we have uh, portfolio. portfolio income, and then we have some of your work. Yeah, the uh, ordinary earned income. Earned income. Yeah, uh, the ordinary earned income is what most people earn. You know, you work your nine to five job where you're trading time for dollars. And, you know, we want to kind of get out of that because that's not making money work for you. He says there's the portfolio income, and that is the income that you receive from. Uh, bonds, stocks and bonds. bonds, you know, paper assets. And mm -hmm. then, uh, in fact, Bill Gates, he mentioned Bill Gates. That's the kind of income that made Bill Gates, you know, one of the wealthiest men, you know, in our country. So portfolio. And then, of course, there's passive. Um, mm. Remember what you which said about is, passive? Yeah, which kind of reminds me of residual income. It's income where, you know, that happens over a period of time and you're really not connected with working for it, but it comes in kind of like automatic. Yeah, I think he says that uh, it's income that comes from real estate investments. Right. You know, um, and it you kind of like avoid uh, different kinds of taxes and fees and things like that. It can right. be tacked on at the end. So those are the three basic types of income. And he says that the key, and I'm going to read this because, uh, you know, I want to make sure I get it right. He says, the key to becoming wealthy is the ability to convert earned income into passive or portfolio income as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. So, Roland and I are on this journey where we know we're taking our earned income, now that we're retired, this is money that we have earned, and we making it... Uh, we're converting it into um, into portfolio. Well, yeah. it, well, it's not assets. It's no. I'm sorry. It is to passive income because this has to do with real estate. And for the longest time, I did not realize. It didn't dawn on me until I was taking this class that real estate, you know, gold. Where does gold come from? The ground. From the ground, right? So mm -hmm. gold, saving in gold, that is real estate. It's an asset. So we're working on building our assets in real estate. And we're learning so much from this class. Those of you who are out there, you know, opportunities arise there around us all the time. And we need to take advantage of these opportunities. Here's an opportunity to um, build your mind. This is a, an opportunity to increase the power of your mind, your greatest asset. 
So why not jump on board, take advantage of it, and see where this can lead you? Because you, I guarantee you will live a happier, healthier, freer, productive. Life, productive lifestyle, and you can help some others on, on your journey as well. So I thank you for joining us today. Uh, hi, April. Glad that you can join us all the way from San Diego. Wow, thank you go. for joining. And um, be sure to sign up for this class. Let me know in the, in the comments below, and we will be sure to get you signed up so that you too can take advantage of opportunities that are around you and you can change your trajectory. Mm. All right. Thank you for joining us, and you will see us. Too. Oh, before I go, um, now that we've finished with the book, uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, we are starting on the next book. It's called Cash Flow Quadrant. It's also written by Robert Kiyosaki, and you too can read along in and uh, share with us as we learn more about how we can change uh, our destiny, how we can um, live happier. Oh, Roland, did you see that? Um, let's see right here. Excuse me a second. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, hi, Lorraine. So glad that you can join us. I thought I saw a little something. So I'll see you in a little bit. So thank you for joining us, and you'll see us tomorrow where we'll talk a little bit more about the new book we're starting to read, which is called Cash Flow Quadrant, written by Robert Kiyosaki. And make sure you sign up for the class, that free class. Um, uh, it's called Gold and Bitcoin's Bootcamp. Yeah. All right, you enjoy your evening and be a blessing to someone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, -bye. Bye now.